Good morning. The sun is due to break the horizon in about nine minutes. About 5, 5.33 this morning it's supposed to just make itself seen. And uh, right now it's, it's kind of cloudy out there. I don't know if we're going to see it. it. It might, it might not. A lot can happen in nine minutes. Uh, anyway, I've been up for about two hours. I woke up this morning just a little after three and uh, I started to think about those white spots that we call seagull droppings that are all over the side of the hull. Okay, that's part of the problem. They're all over the hull. They're not just on one side. It can't be deck tan for several reasons. That's one of the reasons why it can't be deck tan because I thought that I got so, some sort of overspray maybe when I was cleaning my airbrush or something like that. The, 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 <clears throat> the problem is the, the, uh, those little spots are on top of the black boot line, the hull red, and I think they're, they're also on the gray. So, and, and we did the deck tan before we did all of that. I didn't spray with deck tan or, or anything like that uh, after I put on uh, the the uh, hull red and so on. So if it's not if it's not deck tan, those white spots have to be something that came out of the clear. Now I do recall uh, somebody uh, alluding to the fact that it it couldn't be it couldn't be deck tan because we we did the the uh, the uh, the deck tan way before we did the other colors. Uh, but w when I read it, I, I was I was so convinced it was deck tan that I sort of put it. Uh, I, I did I discounted it. Uh, yeah, it, it it can't be deck tan. Now I'm wondering, did has anybody else had problems with the with the clear? Where is that clear? Uh, anyway, um, that there there was little clug, little clumps of the pig, pigment in it. You know how clear, flat clear has this, <clears throat> this stuff in it to make it flat. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's so, so strange. Anyway, I started to think about that and I, I got more and more and more wide awake and uh, I thought I may as well get up. So here I am. <laughs> I think we've probably been up this early at the model table before. Uh, okay, I did come back to the model table yesterday. Let's let's do our rollback to see how it is we got to this place, and then and then we'll ca we'll carry on. Well, I don't know how much we're going to get done here this afternoon or this evening, I guess I should say. And uh, yeah, I got sort of sidetracked with a couple of events. Well, first of all. There's my uh, coffee visitor, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, yeah, we had that. That was that was nice, not complaining. But then <clears throat> later on, I I noticed in the surveillance system that there was somebody walking around in the in the back there, like with towards the, the bird feeder, actually more in the neighbor's yard. So it's sort of saundered back there to see what, what was going on. He was un, unreeling a bunch of cable. And it turns out they're putting in a new phone line for one of the neighbors. And when I was out there, on my way turned and I looked back at the house and I could see a bird clutched onto the side of the of the house and it looked like it was making a hole in the house. So I stood there and I watched it for a minute and it, it didn't fly away, and sure enough, it's just pecking a hole in the inside of my house. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had to deal with that. Now, I did I did make a little short video of that, so I'm probably going to insert it somehow in this episode. Um, anyway, what, what do we got here? Okay, we need the sea sprue and the E sprue, okay? So, we need one, two, three, four... 
plastic parts off of these two sprues and then <clears throat> we need the J and the M for the anchor. M? I don't remember seeing an M, but I do remember seeing the anchor. Okay, uh, yeah, well let's uh, recompose here and try and get some of this stuff and maybe we'll get our parts nipped off yet this evening. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. You know, I shouldn't be drinking so much coffee, especially late at night. Well, 7.22, that's not too late, is it? Okay, here we go. E9. And E19. Now, these are kind of mirror image to each other, and there's there is no detail except for the where the push out pins went. Uh, <laughs> it'd be interesting to see if they have to go out. Well, being as a mirror image, uh, uh, we should be able to figure it out. I, well, there's a bit of detail there. I guess that's where the photo edge goes. Okay, so this this was the number uh, 19. And this was the number 9. Okay, now C45. And C46. Okay, now we need three J1s. And I don't think we're gonna to need to label these because they're they're pretty obvious. And there's three J sprues, so and it's just as easy to nip off a lot as it is a little, so It gives me something to hold on to. There we go. All right. Now to get the anchor itself. Now the anchor is called M. M3. Now there, there was no M sprue, but there was a little, <clears throat> little plastic package. And, uh, yeah, that's got to be it, right? While I'm setting up to cut these, I'm going to do it with a macro lens. Let's watch my encounter with the bird that wanted to move into my house. Now I'm going to have to do something here before this turns into some sort of Alfred Hitchcock horror movie, like the birds. And this this bird is not really afraid of me. He's probably uh, probably going to try and peck me if I try to plug up its hole here. You know, but uh, you know, if if people were upset about me uh, accidentally killing the spider. You can imagine the comments I'm going to be getting now. I mean, I feel sorry for that poor little bird. I really do, but I, I can't let it, you know, make a hole in my house. It, holy cow, there's, there's more than one. That, that's not the same bird. There's, there's at least two of them. They probably, uh, 
Uh, you know, I think I've got the makings for a birdhouse down in the workshop. Maybe I should uh, put it together and somehow fasten it over that hole. Okay, I think this is still recording. All that is is just a piece of paper towel. I wonder if I could spray it with something until I can get to the, uh, you know, give it, put a bit of a scent on it. Um, and get to the uh, hardware store and buy some stucco or something. Got, got to do something. I'm sorry. Now, that was kind of sad, wasn't it? We sort of tend to humanize, you know, the bird situation, and we think to ourselves that, well, maybe the bird thought, oh, this is going to be a great place to set up housekeeping. And, uh, you know, it'll be nice and warm in the winter and so on. I don't know how long it had been trying to, uh, you know, make that hole, but I think it just started today. All right, now, I, I know these numbers are upside down, so if you want to see them right side up, you're going to have to either stand on your head or turn your computer monitor upside down. And, or you could, I was going to say you could turn your iPad upside down, except if your iPad's like mine, it, it'll just swing around and correct itself. Oops. I think I was starting to get up on top of the... Okay. Now there, we need uh, one, one, we need two of each of these. That's okay, I know where it is here. Don't know if I can pick it up though. There it is. Okay, um, yeah, but there's, there's two sheets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the, uh, the other ones now. I'm noticing there's a little bit of a tab on this one here. I don't know if I should try and file that off or no, I don't think so. I'll probably end up breaking it. Okay. Okay, we now have all the pieces necessary for step number 14. Uh, just got to clean them up, get them mounted over here on our masking tape, uh, get them labeled. Uh, but that's going to have to be tomorrow. So, all being well, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. And, uh, you are seeing this being done for the first time. This is kind of, you might say, unrehearsed. So, uh... I think it's going to work out, if I can raise this up high enough. And you're in a minute you'll see why I want to raise it up high enough.
Now, I did kind of know what I wanted to do, so I sort of had stuff laying around <laughs> where I could find it. But actually, this is going to be the first time that I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Now, just a minute. Okay, I'm very carefully taking the ship out of the cradle. Okay, now, <clears throat> it seems to me that the, the worst side... Now I don't want to be sliding this around, even though I did just vacuum off the green cloth. Very carefully here. If I can sit down, I can do this a little bit more gingerly. Now, I, I don't really want to be touching this if I don't have to. Is this going to focus or not? This has to be high enough. So it will focus here. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to stand up. Now where are some of those spots? They're, they're really bad. Yeah, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, I, I, it's, it's not Dectan. It's not overspray from something. It's something that came out of the clear coat. It has to be. Well, uh, I, I, I think maybe I could very carefully go like this. Is there anything that will get damaged? No. It's not like it had any turrets on. Not, now for sure it will. There's lots of spots here. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to show you. Uh, <laughs> I want to make sure that this doesn't all of a sudden drop down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just check really close here and see if I can figure out what those are. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, deck tan. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm zoomed in now. Uh, maximum magnification. Like I, I, I can turn this one here and zoom way back. And then I can see quite a large area. Or I can go like this and zoom right in. And the, the best way to describe what I'm seeing is, well, those of us who live in North America, we would know what cream of wheat is. Well, let's say you took a spoonful of cream of wheat and, and dropped a dollop of it onto this hull. That, that's kind of what it looks like. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely not deck tan. It's a, it's a little clump of uh, coagulated pigment that must have been in the clear coat. Uh, I, I can't... Uh, I, I can't uh, f fasten the camera to this microscope very, very easily. Uh, it, it goes better on the other microscope, but the other microscope won't go over top of the hull. So, uh, anyway, I, I know I'm beating this to death, right? But it's just that it... Uh, it just boggles my mind. I've never had that happen with, with clear coat before, but then how often do I clear coat, right? Um, as I said before, did any, has anybody else had this problem? Um, maybe I should just Google it, you know? Yeah. There's almost everything on the internet. <laughs> if anybody's had a problem with clear coat, they're going to have uh, put it in the internet. But uh, I'd sooner hear it from people that are watching. <laughs> I, I wish I could show you this. I really do. Anyway, let's let's carry on here. Okay. Now, I was setting myself up a few minutes ago to uh, start nipping off the uh, flashing and so on from these various pieces so we can glue the photo etch onto them and get them stuck down onto the onto the masking tape. And then I started thinking about that birdhouse that I was talking about earlier and uh, what I've got here is a I packaged this up several years ago actually and it's a it's a template for for the birdhouses that I made uh, oh it must be about I guess five years ago or so and uh, here's the saying you can't fight yourself into a paper bag well I can't fight myself into a plastic bag here okay 
Now, now these pieces are just the template, and they're, they're kind of crude, but I think that they should basically make a birdhouse, because um, <laughs> yeah, I drew this all out years ago. Uh, anyway, you can sort of sort of see here how it's supposed to go. Uh, hmm. Okay, that sort of takes takes me back. I, I think that the I think that the parts should fit together here, and I brought my nailer up so I can, you know, quickly fasten it together. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I I'm just, I guess I'm talking about what I'm thinking about at the time, right? Here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Just grab one at random. It doesn't matter which one I do first. They all got to be done. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this now. And uh... Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to the uh, birdhouse video that I made several years ago just in case somebody's interested and you can watch it best I remember I show how I made the birdhouse and stuff like that and uh, alright now I can't talk and work at the same time so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up and uh, then uh, when it comes to putting the photo etch pieces on, on this, we'll slip on the macro lens and take a nice close look. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, we are done. And I was noticing that for some reason, Trumpeter's got a little three embossed on each one of these blades. And I wonder why that was. Did the, you know, did the real Rodney have the a three on the on the anchors? I don't think so. I think it's. Maybe to remind you, you're supposed to make three of these. Anyway, we're done. Uh, let's uh, recompose here and see if we can get some photo etch on. And I almost forgot to tell you, there was no sunrise this morning uh, that we could see. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it just the clouds just got progressively worse and worse and worse. Although I'm, I'm noticing right now as I look outside, the sun is starting to come out. The rain has stopped. We did have rain this morning. Big deal, right? Weather report. Okay, let's recompose. Okay, we will be putting the macro lens on here in a minute. But uh, the idea is we want to take this little piece of photo etch and it has to go right on here like this. Now, I, it could be that this photo etch will be more detailed one way than the other, so I'm going to put my magnification hood on here if I can find it and uh, and just check that out. Maybe I'll put the macro lens on now and we'll take a look with the macro lens and uh, if I choose the wrong side, I'm sure I'll receive comments about it. And I appreciate those comments, by the way. Okay, I've already focused the lens on that little white speck of whatever it is. So if I put this right down here, it'll come off. There we go. It should be in focus, right? Now, what happens if we turn this over? 
Okay. Okay, as luck would have it, I, it was already the best way. So this this side, this way here, at least to my to my way of thinking, it shows the best detail. It look it looks more like three dimensional. So what we're going to want to do is uh, refocus. Get get some uh, CA on on here. Yeah, CA not not extra thin this time. And then we're going to put it very carefully up on here. Now I, I realize it's out of focus, but I'm just doing sort of a dry run here. Okay, let's let's uh, recompose here now, very carefully. Okay, now I, I basically only get one shot at this, and this is, uh, if I can get it to come off, this is, uh, come on, CA thin, there we go. I don't want too much, and yet if I don't put lots on, it will cure on me before I get the part on. Alright, now we want to just barely touch this. Okay, I think that's it. Whoops. Okay, let's just leave that. I'm pretty sure that's about as square as we can get it. Okay, let's do one of the bigger ones. That should be alright. Now where's the photo etch? There it is. Alright, now we'll do the same with this one. We'll get it with the detail side out. And I can I can see right now that that's the best way, I think. Um, well, I'll check it out before we before we actually bring it up onto the thing. I'll I'll put the macro lens back on. We'll just do the one more and then we'll move on. I'll I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, now that I've got my magnification hood on here, I can see that that was not the right way up. This is the right way up. Now I realize it's out of focus, but it won't be once I get it up here. Oh, and I still haven't replaced my blade, have I? Okay. Let's, uh, let's get this turned around so I'll be grabbing it at the same plane, you might say, as the, uh, as the way it has to go on. Well, that dropped almost exactly where it's supposed to go. Okay. Uh, I don't think I, uh, I have my compulsive poking disorder sort of wants to have me poke at it, but I, th I don't think I'm going to improve at it. I think I'll probably just make it worse, so. All right. Okay. Now on these anchors, I haven't actually tried to put it together. You're going to be seeing me do it for the first time. I'm sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah. Now, I don't think it's a good idea to be gluing them into place. And, and the reason being is that an, an anchor, you never, you never see it like this. 
it's either flopped over one side or, or the other. So I think I'm not going to uh, glue these until we actually get to the place where we want to mount them on the uh, on the side of the hull because and it could be that they're going to be uh, somebody told me that when when one of these ships comes into port they always have the anchors s s uh, down just a little bit so that uh, I guess the idea being is that in an emergency they can drop the anchor quickly and it's not stuck up in the hose pipe or whatever they call that um, and anyway, uh, I think we'll leave that. Now, here you can see, or you should be able to see, if you're watching this on a reasonably high definition screen, the, the number three here and here. It's only on one side, though. It's, it's not on the other side. Um, anyway, uh, that's, my, that's my thinking on the anchor. Oh, one more thing. Uh, do you remember when we did the Bismarck? This, this little clevis thingy. It it was separate. It actually it actually clipped on and sort of swiveled. And at the time, I thought that's that's really nice. I kind of like that. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm happy now. I don't have to mess around with it. So, okay. Okay. So uh, I was going to show off my carpentry skills here and slap this birdhouse together and then. Um, trying to assemble it and I'm thinking well I'm missing a part here and then I, I realized that this, this is just the pattern and it's just to you know to give me an outline and it's it's got times two on here so I I would have in other words if I was going to make a real birdhouse I'd take this pattern and I would make two of these okay and uh, and then this would go in here like so and this is the roof and it goes on like so. All right, uh, but <laughs> we're missing a piece, so I gotta go down to my workshop. And I don't, I don't know if I've got any cedar lumber left. Uh, these are just cedar fence boards, and it doesn't matter. I don't think the bird will care. Maybe what I'll do is I'll have this to the back. <laughs> yeah, one one of these was supposed to open out for cleaning out the the cage. Anyway, if you watch the video. And the link, by the way, will be in the description for today's video of the, of the Cedar Birdhouse, uh, for the Cedar Birdhouse. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, even though it is only, what, three minutes or thereabouts after 11 this morning. And um, maybe I'll work on this a, a little later, the birdhouse that is. And uh, yeah, I'll try and find a place to put it. Now, I, I don't want to go out and try and put it right now because I've... Uh, a, a heavy rainstorm just passed over here and it's soaking wet outside um, okay thanks for watching everybody and <laughs> all being well we'll be seeing you tomorrow